right, that was Rabbit Hole by the Ghost Town Rebellion. I do want to ask you, because you guys recorded some music during COVID, were you guys able to be together in the same studio while you recorded it? Or did you guys kind of keep separated? We did, actually. Uh, we actually recorded it in my studio um, the fall, and I'm on... Uh, I'm fine, which will be, which is also under last July and my studio is big enough. Um, so, you know, if someone was in the live room, someone was in the control room, if anyone else was in the control room, everyone had masks on. So we were, we were doing what we needed to do to keep each other safe. And, uh, if we had to do vocals, one person was in the vocal booth and then we would do that. And then the other person would go out and then that, that's kind of what it was going it's on. like a it's kind of funny because it's called the decompression chamber is the name of the studio <laughs> and we literally were like decompressing the, the vocal booth is like let all the air out okay now we can let people back in okay dude yeah we have like very, fans in between takes, yeah quite we a have, like, fans, conscious like, the, the room out yeah everything, so dude were you guys like me at all like my wife i would come home from like work i'm like don't don't get near me. Like, your eyes are oh, red. Yeah. You feel Full tired? On, like, you feel tired? Don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me. I would tell my wife that. Remember that scene in E.T. where they're, like, scrubbing? They're, like, all the... Yeah, it's like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It was scary. Just scrubbing away. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was scary. Did, uh, did Has anyone in the band caught COVID at all? No. 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 Uh... Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Yeah. No. Nobody, nobody in the band has caught COVID. We uh, We actually since rec- we just did that recording session back in in July, and then filmed the Diamond Queen video. But then we haven't really, other than here and there, like you know, sitting outside. Like we didn't see each other for months. We like, like we had our first. We we've had our first band rehearsals in twelve months. Like I remember, yeah. like we, I think you, me, and Jamie just jammed to the tunes before we went to the studio just to kind of get just a feel again of how the structure was going to go yeah. and we had masks on and then in our practice space we're all separating we got i got i bought a bunch of like, drum shields and stuff so those things are like six foot high and then we're wearing masks in the practice room and uh so, and then the doors open fans on so we're you know circulating stuff but yeah, we 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 uh we just started rehearsing again a couple of weeks ago, and it's been fun. It's and that I, I miss that the most more than anything, and just seeing my friends and my bandmates. Yeah, yeah. So. Do you know? Did you after twelve months of not playing, going back and playing again? Did you forget like <laughs> any of the song at all? Like, how does that go again? Like, did that ever happen? Uh, we, I think we were planning on forgetting, but <laughs> totally Mike, Mike, yeah, Mike, like... Mike can actually agree to this. We played this a full set really without messing up. We actually like, like Mike literally stopped us at the first song, like, holy shit, guys, we just played yeah. a song and it didn't suck. You know? It is very strange. Yeah. Very, very strange. Yeah, I guess, but you know, you guys can hear your own music because it's recorded and you guys have it. So I guess it's, you can, I guess if you thought you would forget, you'd go back and listen to it. Did you guys do any of that? Uh, yeah, no, I was doing I that. <laughs> He's like, no. He's like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, I do that. I, I have, I'm one of those old school, like, because I was in marching band and all that. Like, I want to be prepared before I go. To practice and stuff like that to at least know what i'm supposed to play i mean granted we're not going to play everything perfect and, and it hasn't right. been perfect but we've been playing pretty solid and i was really excited just to see everybody and i think we were just excited to see each other too so being excited to play your music like a lot of times too it's like i think mike and i forget being on the road as much as we have been like this is our first break we've had in six years and uh and then like we were we were both a little I I would be honest I was a little nervous about us getting together and having to relearn everything but like we were literally like on the first rehearsal pretty much played everything how it's supposed to be played I mean granted we had to go through a couple songs here and there just to kind of get the feel down again but we we knew what we were supposed to be doing. Well, you yeah. got you guys are professional, so <laughs> you know you guys. It, I think <laughs> we've played the songs. I mean, we toured pretty extensively on a lot yeah. of those songs and uh, even the new stuff we i mean we were pretty well rehearsed on it before like kind of getting ready to tour on it and then yeah we kind of were like all locked, locked and loaded and then kind of <laughs> <laughs> kind of 
Screeching halt. And Stop. wait. It yeah. literally was. It literally was a screeching halt. We played our last show March. We were June. just about to leave for. No, we were in. A, we, we were to leave. <laughs> or wait, it had just started. We were already two weeks in, and we we oh, had, we, we were supposed <laughs> to go south by Sorry. southwest. We were supposed to go south by southwest, and that oh, got that's canceled. Right, that's right. And then we we came we rerouted came back played we were supposed to play like a couple of it was St. Patty's weekend so we were like playing a bunch of hometown gigs, That's and then we just ended up playing that one on the thirteenth and that was it. That was the <laughs> end. Yeah, <That's, laughs> that was it. Good. And then we, we everything was paused. Back the, yeah, we were supposed to go back on the road and play another like 50, like fourteen to twenty one days. Yeah. Yeah. Just in just between March and April. Have you guys? You guys kind of just went in like cryo. No, no, sorry. We just went into like kind of stasis for a little while, and then we just kind of dethawed and went into you know dethawing process. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, reanimation process. Yeah, reanimation process. Like that's that's that scene in Austin Powers. You know, exactly. The ice block. That's kind of like. Dude, I I talk- my voice is very loud. <laughs> I, I talked to I talked to a lot of bands that actually say that because of COVID, their band has been able to focus on really their sound and their structure and figure out where they want to go as a band. Because you know, when you're in a band and you're touring, you know, you guys were on tour, and when you're doing a lot of that, you're you're focusing on the tours. But during this hibernation period, you're really kind of you're able to regroup. I think a little bit. It was like. It was like, here, guys, take a vacation, take a break. <laughs> it's almost like it is. To be honest, I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of like something Mike and I've been praying for for a while. Like, we just needed, <laughs> like because, it, but it was a world stop, so everybody had. Stopped, so it wasn't like we're gonna go take a break for twelve months and everyone's gonna forget about us. It's like, wow, the whole world had to stop. The heavens listened, um, and. and and we got to take a nap. <laughs> a long nap. <laughs> yeah. No, I, t- I, do, I, to- I totally, totally, totally feel that. I, you know, I, I've never been in the touring band or anything like that, but I can only imagine. Like, I, dude, look, I've been doing this podcast for six months. I'm coming up on my 100th episode. And I'm like, God, oh, I, really? I, I, I need to take a break. I, to, I do it so many all the time. So, I, no, I, a that, I know, t- I've been busy, man. I've been real busy. Well, that's how that's how you grow, man. It's content, content, content. So, but now that uh, Sam McIntosh has kind of really o- reorganized what we're doing, it's it's really structuring me, and I get to have family time again. So that's gonna be that's gonna be super awesome. Do you ever yeah. go? Do you ever go back to one of the first songs you ever wrote, and just for fun, try to play it again or like redo it? I'll be honest. I have to do. Yeah, what? Could you teach me that, or yeah, exactly. Like, do you know what our? I don't. That would be no carousel. Yeah, carousel. I was the bass player in that band, and Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think so. Is the answer? I I would. I wouldn't remember how to play any of those songs, to be honest. Really? So sad. Yeah. No, that was like, like lost media. That was before the. That was before the days of. The internet soon. <laughs> yeah. I, I think was, I think that, I remember some of my mistakes were recorded. I think I remember some of my songs I did just because I haven't written as many songs. You know, like you guys are still writing songs. I kind of stopped writing songs, <laughs> so I still I still remember. Uh, I still remember. I guess maybe that's sad that I that I remember them. Maybe I should be more like you guys and not remember them. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I wish. I wish, but the, but there may be a reason why we can't remember them. I don't. Maybe they maybe they weren't that good. <laughs> <laughs> they well, they probably weren't. I mean, they yeah. probably they probably were. They probably weren't as good as the, the song. Obviously, now you guys have you know two decades of writing together, and that said that maybe that's why you guys sound so great is you guys have two veterans of, that have been playing for two decades together, and so the music just meshes at that point. You know, you kind of know what the other person is thinking musically. Yeah, that's one thing that's nice because you really don't have to think about it. Like, I mean, we kind of know which direction the other one's going to go. I mean, or yeah, I mean, that's kind of one of the easy parts. Is like, you know, we we know the capabilities of each other, and we can kind of kind of say, okay, like I want to do this, but I, you know, 
might need your help here or vice versa or right. I want to do this cool part, but it's only going to work if you do this part at the same time and then, you know, rainbows and unicorns happen and then you're like, all oh, right. <laughs> Good stuff. It, 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 then there are a lot of rainbows and unicorns. You know, I, 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 I couldn't, Mike is my best friend and awesome. uh, we've been friends for long since we were kids and yeah no we know how to read each other and like and we know how to like check each other like really hard it's it's like you know and when we bring something to the table it's kind of like no it's the best idea that goes it doesn't matter who yeah. wrote it it's not matter who's gonna sing it if your voice is gonna sound better on this part then you sing it and vi- and then you the other guy does the harmony and and vice versa and it's it's like we know when not to play and we know when to play yeah, it's, you know, it's, I'm happy that you guys are both on the podcast at the same time also, because I can feel the energy of you guys feeding off each other, which makes for a great show. I'm not going to lie, I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's play The Fall. I like this song. Who writes the lyrics, oh, cool. to, who writes the lyrics to the songs? We we, we both, both do. Yeah. And, okay. then Jamie, our drummer, and then Jamie, our drummer, has been uh, starting to write lyrics with us now, too, which is really rad. He's a really good lyricist. Awesome. Uh, how many people are in the band total? Is there five? Uh, like four and a half. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll go with 4.5 in the band. Here is The Fall by the Ghost Town Rebellion. <laughs> 